technically, what I have like a four thousand dollar voucher with you. Okay, I just had Is a baby. That, oh my god, forty seven hundred. Forty seven hundred. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's a cash gift. I'm just saying I have forty seven hundred dollar gift card. That That's I, a big I, gift card, and that can last <laughs> for life. <laughs> So many things to get into your morning show leftovers, Ooh. dreams about dogs peeing, calls to wedding planners. Yeah. There's just a <laughs> lot going on today in our lives. Hi, hello, and, and welcome. We appreciate you hanging out. You guys are so animated. You're like- St. Patty's Day? Well, because you got to be animated for the video, yes, Riley. You can't- Yeah. yeah you you got to hang out and make sure everything- Yeah, absolutely. I try to pretend the cameras aren't there because it freaks me out. Mm, I think that's not the right move. Why? Because then if, if we're looking at the wrong place, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's but true. With my eyes. Because sometimes <laughs> when Hood's just like the real videos, it's like it's real into my like, guy. I look tired as hell. I look. Boy, I, I need a tan. Mm-hmm. Bo show. Yeah. Well, I need. I need more than just that. Wait. Hold on. Wait, Hood. Why can't I? Wait. wait. Oh. There. Wait. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I had a, a moving. <laughs> That's I, what we call a mic check. That's okay. Yeah. No, there's just something because I gotta move everything over, and it's just it's here we are. It's been a, it's been a long mm-hmm. life. And, uh, <laughs> you know, there we are. So, wait. So, Saran, you had a dream about Chewy. Yes. I had a dream last night that me and my boo, Choo Choo, we were just hanging out. I think we were around here. I don't know. But he, like, peed on me three times, and I was, like, totally fine with it, which is, like, kind of. Like, were you, like, standing up? Or yeah. Were you sleeping? So or, like, the first time, he was, like, we were in, like, a reclining chair. He was on my lap, and it was just, like, just pissing. And I was, like, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just hanging out. <laughs> the second time, it was on the carpet. And then the third time, I don't know. If I was holding him, but it was a, a total of three times that he like. But what do you interpret this as? Because Saran, you always Ooh, have these funky I dreams. And know. side yeah. note, you had a dream about me being pregnant before I got pregnant. I know, I know. So I haven't really looked into it yet. But I was like, I haven't seen Choo Choo in a while. Am so I, I having triplets? Because that would suck. Oh man. Oh, I would laugh <laughs> no. So hard. So I just Googled it, and it says dreaming about your dog, your dog peeing on you is a loss of control. It's it's saying like it's a warning kind of dream. So I've lost control, or Saran's lost control? Because I I've, I I don't know. You know, Who knows? Three times too. But it also could mean money he, as well. Look at that. Well, like you Saran, could, you like some, financial news really could be coming, girl. <laughs> you got that, you got that stimulus <laughs> coming. Come on now. But, yeah. I mean, as he, he's just staring at me like a little angel, but he's sleeping on top of his bed, which that is, you know. That'd be like, I guess if he doesn't it. always do that though. Yeah, was, like when you say he sleeps on top of his bed, the entire time that I was up there, he was not on top of his bed. I don't think even once. No, it's it's strictly I think temperature control, like legitimately. Like if he, if he's cold, he burrows yeah. in. If he's nice on top, for sure. But, um, but it's almost like I imagine be like Riley when you <laughs> you buy a kid an expensive toy and they play with the box instead. She, she's been like that for the past what 10 was? seconds. Yeah, like what'd you buy, Larry? I'm trying. No, no, no. I'm trying to wait until this this part is over so I can tell you how much I owe you. Like. Something oh. at this point. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what am I wrong? Somebody, I, I, somebody, Bill, point out one time I've been wrong about something. Any, can anybody in this room? Hoodie, you've known me for how long? Eight years? Five years? No, long than that. Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> Five, six years. Okay, Nate, give me one time I've been wrong. Um. Well, there you go. There you go. Rose, give me one time I've been wrong. <laughs> Um, I mean, you liked my ex-boyfriend, and you were wrong on that one, so. Okay, besides, besides that, besides that, besides that, besides that. Uh, I don't know. Nothing pops in my head right, Saren, like right now. You're clear over here. Although Saren thought I was full myself in the beginning. But you proved yourself. Thank I mean, you. You, you are. You are, though. I'm over here just freaking out. I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to be checked <laughs> out, Listen. but I'm literally reading the text from my wedding planner right now. <sighs> What a day. What oh! is going on? <laughs> Can you see my gift? Whatever it is. Because uh, that'd be fantastic. So, oh boy. So, right, we Wait, missed on the show. Wait, what's going on? You missed on the show, Riley, at a wedding venue that was trying to give her the, the screw. And, and if you know me well enough, you know that I just, I love a good, a good tussle in the ring. Especially when I know I'm going to win. And so, I was like, we should call the wedding planner. We call, call the venue on the air. And it took a minute to find... What what happened? What's because the, because they, they had said Riley's venue had oh, they yeah, yeah. they had switched ownership and huh. they told her last March yeah that we'll honor your original contract everything's gonna be okay they told her a week ago for her wedding in September oh we lied it's gonna be actually like five thousand dollars more yeah so what what so we called uh. I, I left a very strongly worded voicemail I didn't call back I'm to the number I'm like crying I'm sorry I'm like being it was just oh. 
So. It's been it was like an emotional ride yesterday between being exhausted with the baby and trying to like replan all this and figure it out. Six months, right? And that's gonna go by in five yes. minutes. So to find this out yesterday was just like, oh my god, like what the flip am I gonna do? Like, and this side note. It had to be here. This is like one of the reasons we fell in love. It was one of the places we went to our first Valentine's Day and our second date. And it was yeah. like our spot. And who doesn't love Chuck E. Cheese? Right. <laughs> I can't even be mad at you right now. I can't even be mad at you right now. So? And they were screwing me. And this morning you called them and I was like really, really scared. And she's literally, my wedding planner is literally texting me and all this, like, no, mind you, I couldn't even get this woman on the phone yesterday. Mm. My wedding planner had to like track her down from a couple of different emails, phone numbers, whatever. And now I just got this. They're giving us a new menu based on the first quote. They said that in terms of the liquor, because remember, they're going to have to knock it back. Mm-hmm. They said that they have a liquor liability, but we can sell back the liquor that's not used. So we won't have to be screwed on that money. They're mm-hmm. going to give me access to the bridal suite where they weren't going to do it before. They won't give you access to the bridal suite? Yeah. Girl. That's weird. Girl. Why? What was the reason before? I mean, I don't know. So are they still not giving you everything now? I am. Um, we're going to talk. To them, no, they're, we're not going to talk to them. What else are they not giving you? Well, they also said that the meeting, like we can meet at nine on Saturday, whereas originally they said that they couldn't meet until that time. Okay. So they were, I don't know what the shenanigans were there, like okay. and why. Yes. This meeting that I got a sitter for. Yes. <sighs> so is there anything they're not giving you they're supposed to give you? It, I mean, I'll, I'll look at this proposal that they're sending back. Because I think we don't settle until we get everything. We get a red carpet. <laughs> yeah, but everything you wanted. And then they should add They should add something for the stress. I mean, I just. And by the way, it better be selling back the liquor at full price. Because that's a thing, too. I doubt you can sell back liquor. I love you. Like, well, no, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> no, but it can't be like. Uh, this isn't the bookstore, no, though. No, like, it's, it's not but, a college bookstore. Yeah, but, like, it's the, liquor. But the, it doesn't even make sense, though, because then they would just charge you per bottle. They wouldn't charge you. For, I love you. I'm you know, just so you know, like that logic is so stupid because they wouldn't be like we're gonna give you. They they would charge you per bottle, and not be like you write the check and then we'll buy it back. That doesn't make any sense. It'd be like especially. If but it's if like, you buy it up front, that's how they're doing yeah, it. Like I, I it, this I might be that. a we're not paying after the fact. We're paying all this up front, and that's why they're having you pay for however much you're saying you need, and then whatever you don't use, you just yeah, they'll they, buy back they, from you. They charge you for what you use. I'm just saying, but make sure it's not like a well, you know, this bottle was. Partially open, so because then once like, John's gonna be my bride, but, yo, but like, like, but like, yeah, what's to stop them from opening bottles the other night? It's okay, like, I'm not even kidding well, you. If, I, if they know, like, if they know, like, listen, we have like 10 bottles of Jameson left, whatever it is, crack them open because once mean, the seal's broken, legit, if they're gonna screw you out of this okay, stuff, what would stop I don't stuff? think easy they're gonna tiger. do that no, though. Why they trying to screw out the whole damn thing? Why the wouldn't they try to do that? They like have even. It shouldn't be this way at all. It shouldn't be like, oh, the fact that you're even talking to me now is great. No. It shouldn't. You're paying them for a service. And a lot. They work for you. When you pay for a service, that company or person works for you. I just, I feel like I, the only, the real reason I really want to talk about this is A, obviously because it's my wedding and I, like any bride, want this dream to come true. But also, like, I appreciate you coming to bat, not just for me, yeah. but for anybody else that were to book this venue and go through this. It's like, that's crap. And I really, I like, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, you know, you should blast the name, give us the name. And I'm like, I want to give them a chance to make it right because I'm yeah. not here about messing with anybody's business, especially during COVID times. Uh, but I, uh, what? What you want, John? You want a cigar? You want a new pair of shoes? Like, <laughs> I, have to, get you, I have to get you back for that. I have to, okay. think, I have to think what it is. But every now and then in life, it's, it's good to do a flyby. Yeah. Just a shot across the bow, like, hey, I see you. And like, so we didn't do anything bad. And no, I mean, it's just, just like, that's the thing is it's yeah. not about being mean. I promise you it wasn't that. Because trust me, I can be mean, damn it. Yeah. But I'm not trying to like do that. It's just that in my mind, this place is an omen for us. So it had sure. to be there. So for these people to come in and start screwing with my sh- well it could be a thing too like you know as as sometimes it goes in businesses like sometimes we like we deal with an artist and it's, it's a pain in the ass it might not be it's it could be it's the wrong person's being a douche and the rest of the organization doesn't know so yes. like, it could be like whoever is actually writing the checks to that place had no idea because that makes zero sense to start off that badly as mm-hmm. a new place so like 
just assume the wrong person. The, right. the Eric of the business was answering the calls I mean, instead of somebody else. No and offense. as well as that, like, you guys know that I try to answer every DM. I try to get back to anybody if they ask me. Especially hey, if it's Marshall. Yes. Hi, hey, Riley, like, where did you get this or whatever? Like, so it's just like, and in terms of something where you're going to be spending thousands, like, what yeah. is that ratio to your paycheck a month? You know what I mean? In mm-hmm. perspective. Yeah. I am not going to post photos, tag people, mm. and be like, this event was fabulous. Yeah. If this is the crap that's going to be pulled, you know, on another bride. Like, I just cannot. So, technically, what? I have like a $4,000 voucher with you. Okay, I just had is a baby. The, oh, we're my God. Like 4700 $4, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a cash gift. I'm just saying I have $4,700 gift card. That I, I, big gift card. And that can last <laughs> for life. I have a prediction that someday in the future, I'm going to pay you back in things way better than money. What does that mean? Out of context, I said, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like if there's anybody in this room that's going to be the one to vet your future wife. I want that. I want that. I want that right now. No, that, he doesn't no, want no, that. I, I, yeah, I, I can't I, even be mad at him no, for being a turd. No, I can't. I'd rather, I'd rather have the gift card of favors. Oh, my God. I'd much rather have that. So, all right. Well, um, here's the benefit of listening to the, the uh, podcast because you're the first ones to know about this. Mm-hmm. So everybody else won't know until tomorrow. So, And you can actually watch Riley's reaction because I had thought something – Bad it happened. Um, you can watch. We're not doing there, there you go. Hoods, that, 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 that Everyone was, together. You can uh, watch for being on camera ready. Facebook. Uh, search YMS Radio. And make sure you check the podcast out, too. Then tomorrow we'll uh, do the big reveal. So we'll see you then.